Is your metabolism slow? Then this segment is just for you. Keep watching The Uma Show. If you've gained weight or feel cold and tired, it may just be that you have a slow metabolism. The next question of course is, why is my metabolism slow? Well, that's a great question. Since your metabolism is how your body takes food and oxygen and uses it to fuel all of its biochemical reactions, there are a lot of things that can actually slow it down. In this video, we'll talk about five common reasons your metabolism could be slow, including thyroid hormones, history of dieting, size and body composition, activity level, and lack of sleep. I've also included a tip that you can try for each one of these possible metabolism busters. So why is your metabolism slow? You may feel tired, cold, or that you've gained weight. Maybe your digestion seems a bit more sluggish. You may be convinced that your metabolism is slow. Why does this happen? Why do metabolic rates slow down? What can slow your metabolism? Metabolism includes all of the biochemical reactions in your body that use nutrients and oxygen to create energy. And there are lots of factors that affect how quickly or slowly it works. That is your metabolic rate, which is measured in calories. But don't worry, we know that metabolic rate is much more complicated than the old adage calories in, calories out. In fact, it's so complicated, I'm only going to list a few of the common things that can slow it down. Examples of common reasons why metabolic rates can slow down. Low thyroid hormones, your history of dieting, your size and body composition, your activity level, and lack of sleep. Well, briefly touch on each one below and I promise to give you better advice than just to eat less and exercise more. So first up, low thyroid hormones. Your thyroid is the master controller of your metabolism. When it produces fewer hormones, your metabolism slows down. The thyroid hormones T3 and T4 tell the cells in your body when to use more energy and become more metabolically active. Ideally, it should work to keep your metabolism just right. But there are several things that can affect it and throw it off course. Things like autoimmune diseases and mineral deficiencies, example iodine and selenium. So tip, talk with your doctor about having your thyroid hormones tested and do that regularly. Second up, your history of dieting. When people lose weight, their metabolic rate often slows down. This is because the body senses that food may be scarce and adapts by trying to continue with all the necessary life functions and do it all with less food. While dieting can lead to a reduction in amount of fat, it unfortunately can also lead to a reduction in the amount of muscles you have. As you know, more muscle means more resting metabolic rate. So tip, make sure you're eating enough food to fuel your body without overdoing it. Third up, your size and body composition. In general, larger people have faster metabolic rate. This is because it takes more energy to fuel a larger body than a smaller one. However, you already know that gaining weight is really the best strategy for increasing your metabolism. Muscles that actively move and do work need energy. Even muscles at rest burn more calories than fat. This means that the amount of energy your body uses depends partly on the amount of lean muscle mass you have. So tip, do some weight training to help increase your muscle mass. Which leads us to your activity level. 
Aerobic exercises increases your metabolic rate. Your muscles are burning fuel to move and do work. And you can tell because you are also getting hotter. Even little things can add up. Walking a bit faster than you usually do, using a standing desk instead of sitting all day, or taking the stairs instead of the elevator can also contribute to more activity in your day. So tip, incorporate movement into your day. Also, exercise regularly. Next up, lack of sleep. There's plenty of research that shows the influence that sleep has on your metabolic rate. Generally, we are supposed to sleep seven to nine hours every night. Tip, try to create a routine that allows at least seven hours of sleep every night. I hope this helps you understand your metabolic rate better. And once you understand that better, you'll be able to take control of your health in your own hands. There's one thing that can definitely help you live a healthier life, and that is adding a smoothie every single day in your diet. And if you want to take up my smoothie challenge, then go on my website and download my free smoothie challenge. And if you want to be a part of my inner circle, then go on my website and subscribe to my newsletter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and share with your friends and family if you found it informative. I'm sending you lots of love and help.